Hi, in the previous lectures we added a new way for the user to add new category, new author, and new publisher. And in this lecture we will enable the user to see the new categories, authors, and the publisher in the app. So let's start. Now I have the project code is open, so if we run, we can add, let's close this, we can add new category, new author, and new publisher. But we need to see the, the all the publisher, the system in here, all the authors, all the categories, and so on. So we need to retrieve this information from our database, then show it in this table. So let's start. First, we need to create two new, three new function, dev show category. Then press pass, and here, after authors, I'm going to create new function with them, dev show author and after publisher I'm gonna say dev show publisher so first of all we need to retrieve all the information from our database then we loop over this table and show this information so first of all we need to connect the database I'm going to take those two lines in the show category and here we need to loop over the database so I'm going to say self.cursor.execute and I'm going to say select asterisk or select category name from and we need to give it the name of the table the table is category so I'm gonna add in here category yeah like this so this select statement will retrieve all the category names from our category table so we need to receive this, this data in a variable so I'm gonna say data equal to self that cursor dot fetch all now all this information and in this data so let's print this information I'm gonna print the data and we need to import this method in the constructor so that when we run our app we can see it so I'm gonna self dot show category yeah let's run when we run our code we should see the categories in here so let's run we have gaming and the drama those are our categories so now we've got all the categories in the database we need to loop over these categories and add it to our table widget so first of all I'm gonna take the name of this table and I'm gonna say self the table widget dot uh, let's see dot insert row in the index of zero so this will insert a new row in our table widget so let's run this and we should see a new row okay, table widget objects that no reviewed insert yeah there is a t insert row we should see a new row this is the new row so now we need to see to see if data so if we retrieve the data from the database we will do this and here we will type for row and for n enumerate the data we're looping over the data that we retrieve from our database but we use the enumerate method so that we can could know the number of the iteration so if we are in the the first circle of the loop this row equal to one and this the form equal to the data so here we need to do a nest of loop so I'm gonna say for column and item and enumerate the four so now we have the row and the column and we have the item that we need to add the table widget 
So we need to add this item to the table widget. So I'm gonna take this copy, the name of the table widget, like this. I'm gonna say dot set item. Sorry, this is dot yeah dot set item, and we need to give it first of all the row and the column and q table widget item. And this key table widget item is str of the item, the string from this item. And we need to add another column. So I'm going to say column plus equal to one. And if we run our code, we go to, to categories, we can see gaming. We only see gaming. Where's the other category? Drama. This is because this loop will work only for one iteration. We need to insert a new row so that the loop continue adding and so on. And if you need to add information to a table widget, first of all, you need to insert an empty row. Then you loop over your data and add this data to the table widget. Then add another row, then loop over your data and so on. So we need to add a new row. So I'm gonna see row position row underscore position equal to and I'm gonna say self the table widget to dot row count this will get how many rows in this table widget then we need to insert a new row but this row will be inserted in this row position like this so now after the loop finish we need we add a new row and the, the other iteration start adding this new information in this and the new row. So let's run our code. Let's open settings and we have gaming and the drama. Okay. Now we have the categories shown on, on our table. So we need to do this with authors and the publisher. So first of all, we need to import this function after we add a new category. So I'm going to say self dot show category. But first of all, before we start adding a new information, so on, we need to clear this table widget so that every time you import the function, it clears the table widget, then insert new information, so on. So I'm going to say in here self dot table widget two dot set row count of zero so let's run our app then when we add a new category we should see this information are updated so I'm gonna say let's say sport and if we press add new category we can see new category added and we need to clean this line edit after adding and we will do this right now so add new category this is the line edit so I'm gonna take this and here I'm gonna say self.line edit dot set text equal to empty do we run this settings we can add a new category with with the name of cooking we add new category this is is empty and we've got a new category this is fine now we need to add those two changes to the author and the publisher so that so that we can add a new publisher new author and so on so first of all we need to clean this ticket edit after adding so here after commenting i'm gonna say sell for the plan edit dot set text equal to empty and this is also for publisher and here I'm gonna say self sorry dot set text equal to empty so so now we can add new publisher new author I'm gonna say uh, clean and for publisher we can say It's empty so now we need to retrieve the publisher and the author and show them in those 
two table widgets. And we will do this in the next lecture. See you next lecture.